All right, you are all set to go. So I'm just going to, um, again, thank, thank all of our participants for joining us today. And uh, if you have any questions at all while Nancy's doing the presentation, feel free to put them in the, the chat or the Q&A. I will be monitoring those. And um, we can ask questions if you um, live if, if you want. So I'm going to turn it over to Nancy to talk all about um, Star Clippers. And um, thank you again, Nancy, for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Nora. I just want to introduce myself. I am Nancy Agambaugh with Star Clippers. Uh, we are a preferred vendor with Travel Leaders. Today, we are going to talk about modern sailing on tall ships. Imagine yourself on the teak deck of a timelessly elegant clipper ship a warm breeze blowing softly, and in the background, 1492 Conquest of Paradise is playing. As the captain and his crew, and his crew unfurl 54,000 square feet of sail above you, you begin to tingle from head to toe as you set sail into the sunset onto tomorrow's next hidden cove. You sigh when you realize this is the most incredible experience I've ever had. Let me tell you about that experience. This experience pulled me out of retirement. My first cruise on Star Clippers, I was retired. Um, I had this tingle that we talk about and I came out of retirement and am now working for Star Clippers. It's amazing. Star Clippers is not a typical cruise. It's an intimate, casual, and relaxing private yacht-like experience in tall ships, also known as clipper ships. Star Clipper ships are near replicas of the chart, the clipper ships from the 1900s with modern accommodations and amenities on board. The primary propulsion of the ship is sailing, not motoring. 85% of the time we sail by the power of wind. Our exquisite itineraries are built using wind charts, ensuring an optimal share sailing experience. Not only our ships, I'm sorry, not to worry, our ships will not be dead in the water. If we do not have enough wind or the right wind to keep us on schedule, we will augment using our environmentally friendly engines. But to be clear, our ships are not cruise ships with pretty sails, our ships are authentic sailing vessels, referred to as SPV, which is sailing passenger vessels, propelled primarily by the wind. Let me also describe how the ship moves through the water. A typical cruise ships have shallow hulls so they actually sit on top of the water. As a sailing passenger vessel, our ships sit down deep in the water, cutting through and moving forward through the water. Think of sitting in a rocking chair and your movement is forward and back. This is very soothing motion for your body and is similar to how our ships move through the water. Water ballasts keep us stabilized and the ships hug coastlines so we are close to land. With no casinos aboard, we do not need to be three to four miles from shore to be in international waters like a typical cruise ship. Our casual elegance is loved by all of our passengers. 
you can leave your jackets and ties at home. Our personalized service is amazing. Our warm, welcoming staff is ready to meet you and all of your needs. On day two of your sailing, the captain will introduce all of his officers and the key personnel on board, including the cruise director, head waiter, and the sports team. Our chefs are Michelin trained and you will all dine well on board. Dining hours for all meals are posted in the daily planner that guests receive each evening at turndown. During meal hours, guests dine when they want to with whom they want to. Breakfast and lunch are expansive buffets with a selection of hot and cold choices. Lunch is often themed. And every afternoon, about 5 p.m., a mini buffet is available in the tropical bar. We sail to many famous ports and remote port, ports that you've never heard of. Exquisite itineraries are thoughtfully put together, a combination of those destinations worldwide bucket lists and must see, as well as the off the beaten path hidden gems you never knew about. Places where big ships aren't. We are small, so we can do and see more of destinations on land or, a, or on a big cruise ship. For example, we are going to be in Croatia. We are definitely going to go to Dubrovnik, but we are also going to see very, very um, unique cities along the coastline. We're going to go to Mykonos and Santorini in Greece, but yet we will hit the less touristy areas where often we are the only ships in port. Simply stated, Star Clippers is an intimate, casual, and relaxed private yacht type experience. Imagine yourself on a star fly on the Star Flyer or the Star Clipper, our fully rigged four mast ships. or our fully rigged five-masted ship, the Royal Clipper. So we're gonna talk a little bit about our fleet. Like, like I said, the Star Clipper and the Star Flyer are four-masted sailing ships. They each hold approximately 170 passengers and they are twin sisters. They're identical. And they are the size of a football field, goalpost to goalpost. They have two pools. And our main attraction is our tropical bar. We have the indoor tropical lounge with the piano bar. And our dining room holds all 170 guests if that happens during our open dining process. Our cabins are, are on the smaller side, but they are quaint very well. We have eight deluxe cabins and 72 standard cabins. One owner suite. And our Royal Clipper is five masted fully rigged and is about a football field and a half long. It has 227 maximum guests and 114 staterooms. You'll see the skylight in our dining room on the left is actually the bottom of our swimming pool on the main deck. I share this visual with you so you're comfortable at how large these ships are. 
However, they're intimate with only 166 to 227 guests on board. Unlike a typical cruise ship, we are sitting on top that, I'm sorry. Unlike typical cruise ships with shallow hulls sitting on top of the water, the star clippers sit deep in the water, therefore a comfortable sail. As you'll see the indoor tropical lounge, similar to our, our sister ships, but just a little bit bigger. We have the royal colors of blue and red and gold with the tropical bar is our main gathering area. Our dining room, two-tiered. Our library that has plenty of games and videos to check out. The Royal Clipper is unique as we do have a, a fitness center and a spa on board. My favorite part of the Royal Clipper is their marina platform. Her cabins, we have 90 standard cabins, 14 deluxe balcony suites. Sounds strange to have a balcony on a sailing vessel. We have two owner suites that have a private sitting area separate from the bedroom and a full soaker tub with marble fixtures. Star Clippers offers a unique sailing experience. We have an open bridge policy. Guests are, will, are welcome to partake in unique experiences such as climbing, the midship mast or hanging out on the bowsprit, which is the netting at the front of the ship. One of our fun things to participate in is a, 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 a photo safari where you actually get into one of the uh, uh, lifeboats and the ship in full sail actually sails around and the photos come out amazing. This is an experience that does not want to be missed. That was probably one of my favorite experiences um, on board. There are unique activities such as helping to set the sails, taking the helm, or even learning how to tie sailor knots. They have fitness classes, and we have many theme cruises throughout the year. If you're going to be traveling with a group of family members, you can do competitions on your ho hoisting the sails. The mast climbing on the left as we spoke about and standing out on the bowsprit in the front of the ship. What is very, very cool is in the Caribbean, often there are dolphins that swim alongside the boat and under the bowsprit. Water sports are included in the price of your cruise, such as snorkeling, kayaking, paddleboarding, as well as windsurfing, sailboat, and even water skiing. Included in the Star Clipper package are your accommodations, all of your snacks that are plenty throughout the day and night, as well as our complimentary water sports. Additionally, all activities and entertainment offered as part of our standard fare include guest and crew talent shows, storytelling with the captain, fashion shows, behind the scenes with the hotel manager, and some sailings even have 
pirate night or white night events that you can dress up for. Most of our entertainment is locally sourced. So we bring on entertainment from the local ports. Our dining, the food is very good. And we're gonna talk a little bit about where the Star Clipper sail. We basically have three areas that we sail. The Caribbean, Southeast Asia, and the Mediterranean. Our last sailing in Southeast Asia is going to be March of 2022. I'm sad to say it is probably one of my favorite areas, but we are bringing the Star Clipper back to the Mediterranean. She has not been there since 2017. And so in spring of 22, all three of our ships will be in the Mediterranean. We have some amazing itineraries coming up as the repositioning is going to happen. And those are all in our brochure that uh, we have and it. Our new brochure is electronic. So in the Caribbean, we sail out of two ports. That's Barbados and St. Martin. We go to smaller islands, Tobago Cay in the BVIs. And every other week, the Star Flyer and the Royal Clipper meet for a fun regatta style race. It's a really fun event for both the crew and the passengers on board. The Mediterranean. Although a large area, we have several different itineraries spanning from Spain and Portugal, the French Riviera, the Afami Coast, Italy and Sicily. Right now, our number one sailing is in Croatia. and the Greek islands. Again, we talked about Mykonos and Santorini. And of course, the small islands, many that don't even have vehicles, asbestos, stoppers. And again, as I said earlier, one of my favorite sailings is Southeast Asia. We have Malaysia, and Singapore, Thailand. Absolutely gorgeous, great for divers. We have full dive equipment on board. You get a little of the new and the old. Model Island. What a beautiful picture that is. And all of the images, Nancy, are just gorgeous. Thank you. We, we do have one question from, from one of the attendees and it's about drink prices. Yes. Uh, yeah, can you talk about that a little? Yes, our um, our drink prices are uh, very much what I would consider club pricing. Um, the the average uh, let's let's say for example a average cocktail is about between four to five dollars. Um, a Grey Goose Martini is about $5.50. Um, 
one thing that's very interesting about Star Clippers is um, our owner, Mr. Kraft, is very animate about not paying for what you don't use. And as we love the opportunity of taking an all-inclusive cruise that has all of your cocktails, all of your uh, shore excursions and everything included, he likes to start with a better pricing and only pay for what you are gonna use. So we make our money with our passengers cruising, we don't make our money selling the drinks and that type of thing. So he keeps them very reasonable and um, it makes it for um, a lot easier sailing. Plus being part of travel leaders, uh, your, your travel agency uh, has 150 onboard credit which goes a long way when cocktails are four to five dollars a piece. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> yes, yes, it, they, it goes a long ways. Yeah, sometimes um, that that's a big part of the budget, right? Your your um, your drinking budget. So that's great information. Yes, um, I'm going to open it up to anybody who has any questions. You can feel free to put it in the chat or the Q&A if there's anything you'd like, Nancy, um, to go over specifically for you. Can you talk about the two sailings for Southeast Asia, um, specifically the Phuket sailings, northbound versus southbound? Yes, yes. Um, we, let me get my... I had a heads up on that question. So I got a great explanation on it. Just bear with me here a second. No problem. Yeah, feel free, anyone else who has any questions, to just go ahead and put them in the, the chat or the Q&A while Nancy's um, pulling up her resources for the, the, the specific um, Southeast Asia sailings. Those pictures um, are amazing. Well, you so know... Have you done that? Have you done that itinerary, Nancy? I have not on our ships. I have, I have been in that area um, in my past life. Sure. Yeah. Um, and, um, it's just what I want, what I just don't have enough time since we're leaving in March of 22 to get on all of the sailings, but I want all of them have something different that intrigues me. Right. Whether or not you like the the um, the the busyness of the local culture, or whether you are a total beach person, right? Um, you you aren't going to find any beaches that are that are better. Um, they are they're just amazing. Um, well, while you're looking for that information, I know you told us earlier that, um, you know, 21 and 22 is definitely open for sale. And, yes. and really it's a $400 deposit per person to, to lock in um, for something. Um, so that's, um, that's good information. And that um, The other question that's coming in right now is about the length of the Southeast Asia sailings. Are they seven nights? Most of them are seven nights. Um, if you get into some of the Bali crossings um, once or twice a year, they can be up to four, 10 or 14 nights. But the average, the Singapore to Phuket, um, 
and the northern and southern itineraries are all seven nights. Okay, good information. Um, huh. So Nancy, I can pull up on my screen one of those itineraries. Shall I do that? Yeah, that would be great. All right. So the um, so you've got the Singapore to okay. So that one. This um, is a Singapore Singapore to Phuket. Yep. And then then I can look at. Let's see, these are all. These are the 10 and 11 night round trip Thailands. Right. And, you know, we highly recommend and, and um, your travel agents will also, um, you know, going that far for a seven night sailing is a long time. So you can do either a back-to-back -back. um it's it's a lot of a, a lot of time on on the ship but um we also have partners that um you can do a wonderful pre and posts along with these um these selected itineraries so Nancy, the questions are really about the 2022 sailings. I guess I wasn't aware of that. And there is a northbound and a southbound round trip Phuket sailing. So this one that we're looking at is the, the southern route. Yes. And it is a, a seven night sailing. Is that correct? Yes. That's Phuket to Phuket. And uh, the, the, the difference then between the northern and the southern They, and, and that's when I was talking about going, doing the back to back. You can do a Northern and a Southern and the repeat is just the Phuket. Sure. Um, and um, so it's, um, those are our last sailings that you had up there in March. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, I can tell what I can do is I, I cannot find my notes here, but I have um, I have specific information. the the north the northern Paquette is more um, is a busier cruise if you would say there was there's more there's more uh, shore excursions and things to do outside of the Southern Phuket is more relaxed, laid back beaches. Um, so the, the ones that want to see and do more would like the Northern itinerary more so than the Southern itinerary. Well, that's good to know. And if you want to um, forward to me that information um, sure. that, that you're just not getting your fingers on right yeah. now. Yep. I can send it out to all of our attendees as well. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Well, um, Nancy, is there anything else that you want to share, or um, anyone on the on the um, webinar? Any questions that you have? Well, we welcome you. There are there are some promotions out there right now that are um, available to travel leaders exclusively that we talked about. Uh, the onboard credits. And there is also a uh, our New Year's promotion where we have a, up to 21% off of um, the published rate, which is the best deal we've had in years. We have up to $800 
air credits for our Asia product from now through 22. Uh, we have promotions for solo travelers, almost every itinerary, not necessarily every day, but every itinerary um, where you, there is no single supplement. We often get two or three men or women that want to travel together, but don't necessarily want to stay together. And that's a great opportunity for you to be able to have your own cabin, our solo. We also have many uh, multi-generational travelers and events, special events, 50th birthdays, uh, 50th anniversaries, that type of thing. And we have promotions that kids sail free. Now we don't have a kids program per se, but, um, we, we do have activities for children. But there's a lot of promotions right now. We are uh, just anxious to get sailing again and um, get um, people back on our ships. Well, you can say that again. We're all very anxious to be traveling again. And what better way to, to set yourself up than to be already booked on a star clippers like i don't know that looks just fantastic to me thank you very much nancy for your time today and um for those of you um who are watching um you can always reach out to us and i will be happy to get you additional information and um this will this is recorded so people can watch this uh video on demand as well so thank you very much nancy and to all of you attending have a great afternoon have a great day Bye-bye. Bye-bye.